I give the advice that I wish someone had given me a long time ago, which is um, be serious about what you do, but don't take yourself too seriously. Oh, I think doing the Devil Wears Prada was really, really fun. Um, the Lovely Bones, I have to say, was not particularly fun, but it was a very interesting exer exercise, and um, Peter and, um, and Fran were very um, thoughtful when we were making it. Um, I think uh, even doing things like the little movies, some of the stuff that, that I've directed, I've had a great time doing. I love doing a remake of a um, uh, Theo Van Gogh movie called Blind Date that I directed a number of years ago with Patty Clarkson. Directing plays have been fun. You know, it's, it's some, some of it's really fun, some of it's just not fun. <laughs> As we know, a lot of independent films have difficulty getting distribution. If they do get distribution, it's minimal. Um, and also publicizing an independent film is a very expensive proposition and the money doesn't exist for that so um, uh, film festivals really take care of a lot of that and and make these films accessible to to, to the you know to the public and, and get the word out there and uh, basically uh, I started teaching a class about rock and roll movies that I created uh, for UC Santa Barbara back in 2003 and uh, she was returning she had been living in New York Tiffany had and so she was moving back to LA and I said oh god let's make a festival around these movies and you know I'll book the movies and you book the bands and let's have this amazing festival so we basically uh, started from there and now it's evolved and now we both co-curate the movies together. Well, these, these ones that we're showing here are kind of, we've showed previously at Don't Knock the Rock. And um, I think they, much like Searching for Sugar Man or a band called Death, um, they kind of focus on outsider artist or behind the scene artist, or in the case of the Cowsills, a very interesting story that not many of us know about them and how they came into being. So um, typically with our festival we tend to pick films that um, either focus on outsider musicians or interesting subject matters and their path or um, some sort of different take on the story of a band. So if it was a big band like the Beatles you would take a, you know, we show Good Old Frida, which is also playing here. Um, we like that movie because it was an interesting take on a, a band that everybody, you know, huge band that everybody knows but told from a different perspective and it was a new perspective into it. So that's what we typically tend to go for when we select our films. And um, yeah, so we kind of brought the best we definitely picked some of the, the films that represent the festival in those regards for this festival. A festival like this is absolutely vital and the support and the care and the attention. I mean, what's amazing about Ireland compared to, to other European countries uh, is that it's such a cinema going country. People love the movies here and that is absolutely fantastic and Dublin's very unusual even compared to London for the amount of art house uh, promotion, the number of cinemas here. But this particular festival, the Dublin Film Festival, which is just extraordinary, it's on a par with any of the major European festivals, the support and the attention that indie films get here, particularly smaller films that kind of can get lost in the marketplace, I mean, it's second to none, it's absolutely vital. My father is entirely responsible for me going into movies. Uh, he likes to joke, and it's a pathetic joke, but he likes to joke that about three minutes after I was born, when I was put to my mother's breast, I made a gurgling noise, which he swears was me saying Bertolucci. And from there on in, he's convinced that I, <laughs> I was going to follow in his footsteps. Now, I mean, he was a complete, uh, he, was, he is so passionate about cinema. I was watching Bergman films from the age of two. Literally, I, learned, I kind of learned to read reading subtitles. So, I mean, he gave me an absolutely phenomenal cinema education that you couldn't buy anywhere else. We must say We play a retired uh, couple, long marriage, and we're blessed by living in the south of France together. Uh, 
she likes to stay in front in touch with the family and I like to get out a bit and meet people and we meet this young couple and he kind of loses his something yeah no she's a beaver I mean she's she's really she's a driver you know she wants it and uh, she's directed before she she teaches acting so she's she's not a novice so she's lovely to work with she was Thank really you. lovely no no she she, she let us uh, she let us create that's the best way